Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. So today I'm working in my studio and I am working on this very top, the dolly top, which is also on the mannequin. I'm almost ready to grade it, digitize the pattern. I just wanted to tweak a few more, a couple more tweaks. I thought I'd take you along with me and show you what I come up with. I've got two lovely fabrics to make two more samples with. I'm gonna change the sleeve and see what we think. So without further ado, let's head on over to my cutting table and do some sewing on the dolly top. So these are my fabrics that I'm working with this week. So this one here is a linen viscose blend and this dusky rose is a woven slub linen look viscose. So I've redesign my pattern sleeves as you just saw there and I'm just going to cut out the short sleeve version in this print linen viscose obviously under strict supervision by Jordi as per usual cut all my pieces out and make my first wearable twirl I've made this pattern obviously and I've used it to make two previous twirls that you've seen on the mannequin of me wearing so making it again see what it looks like in this obviously the new sleeve that i've designed and go from there this is really lovely fabric to work with not too slippery nice structure and yeah i enjoy working with this type of fabric So for the ruffle, I've just used the width of my fabric rather than wasting it, but there will be a pattern piece in the pattern for the ruffle. So you can either use the width of your fabric if it's nice and wide, or you can use a pattern piece. But I've just used the full width of my fabric. And I'm just putting together my yokes. So I've cut out the yokes front and back twice, and I'm just gonna line the inside of the yoke with the same fabric. Sew them together pin everything I like to block pin and block sew so I'm not up and down at the sewing machine and then block overlock I like to do all those things together and then iron as well always always iron in between every stage
Okay, so far then I have done the two sleeves, which I think are quite pretty, I'm quite pleased with them. I've just done like a, like a simple like bound type of hem on the shorter sleeve, I'll show you. Because it's got like quite a lot of detail in the top, I didn't want to go like overly overboard on a fussy sleeve. So that's why I've just gone for a nice gather at the bottom of the sleeve with, like I said, like a bound cuff. Let me find the back, this is the back. The idea is for the short sleeve, because obviously I've done the two lengths. The short one I've designed it so it kind of goes just above the crease of your elbow. So that's quite nice. And I'll, I like just the simple detail on that sleeve there, on that binding. Because looking at the chiffon one, obviously this was made in like the chiffon and I did a bit of the line and this is my first wearable toile, shall we say, that I did last year, I think it was. I just went for the bell sleeves because I fancied having a go at making a bell sleeve. So that's the reason why this design's got the bell sleeves. It was for no other reason. I've just thought, oh, let's just try a different sleeve. I've done straight sleeves, short sleeves, gather sleeves. And I just thought, right, let's just go through all the sleeves and try something different. So the bell sleeve came. So that's why the bell sleeves on there. But it's gorgeous in the chiffon because obviously chiffon's drapey, floaty and I just think it's perfect for a bell sleeve. But in this gingham, which is obviously cotton, a little bit more structured, it's fine but it's not as like floaty or swishy, shall we say, as this one. That's the reason why I'm changing the sleeves. As I said, because you've got the yolk, like the yolk detail on it and then you've got the gathering across, across the bottom of the yolk there and then you've also got the ruffled hem and I just thought, let's just stick with something simple for a sleeve. I've done the short sleeves and on the dusky rose fabric, I'm going to be doing the long sleeve version so we can just see what it looks like. Now I've added two centimetres, I think it was, I've added on the pattern to the original length. I think it was two centimetres, so I've just added a fraction more because on me, I like it quite short but I realise not everybody likes it to be this short so I thought well if I do add another two centimetres and obviously with the ruffle hem it'll just bring it down that just that fraction more. But so far sleeves are done, the gathering's done, uh, I've done the gathering on the ruffle so it's all hemmed and gathered so that's ready to be gathered and put on. So all I've got to do next is sew the two, the front and the back and then add the yolk yeah, because there's no fastenings, it's a fairly easy make. You just pop it on over your head and away you go. So yes, that's as far as I've got so far. And it is now six o'clock and I'll just keep sewing until my evening meal's ready. And then possibly do a bit more this evening, not sure. If not, I'll go onto the Dusky Rose one tomorrow. See how they both look, see how the sleeves look. If I'm happy with this type of sleeve, then I think I'll be happy with the finished dolly top. So I'm just going to do some understitching on the neckline. So I'm just going to um, understitch the piece that goes underneath. So that's my yoke all stitched, understitched. I'm just giving it a quick press around that neckline. I love this neckline. It's just wide enough to pop over your head. You don't need any fastenings with this design. And I'm just gonna overlock those two layers there just to keep them together, ready for the next stage.
Okay, so I finished this wearable toile number one. A few days since the since I made this, I haven't been able to get into my sewing room. But anyway, I'm back in today and I've added the new short sleeve. I really like it, but I'm just not quite happy with the amount of fullness. I think I'd like a little bit more fullness in the top. I am going to just tweak my pattern and make add a little bit extra fullness and make a toile in some calico before I move on to making the next one, the long sleeve version in this fabric. So I'm just going to quickly sew up a calico toile, like a mock up with that extra bit of fullness and see what I feel about that. And then if I like that, then I'll make this one using the extra fullness, but with the long sleeve. So that's where I am so far today. So I've just added that extra little bit of fullness compared to my original pattern. It's not a great deal. I'll just show you and compare my front. This is my original front. So a couple of centimetres, if that. But obviously, because it's on the fold, that will be obviously double. So it's, I think it's two centimetres. Let's have a look. Could be two and a half. Two and a half centimetres. So which obviously equates to five more centimetres because it's on the fold and the same for the back. And I'll just see if, if that makes any difference in the style. And then obviously, I'll then go from there. So I'm working on half scale because I'm trying to conserve paper and my calico so I'm just cutting my pieces out I've just done the pattern again but half scale and I'll just make a little miniature version just so I can see if I like the gathers on it and obviously it's half scale so it just gives me an idea it's obviously not going to be accurate as in the full scale pattern but it will definitely give me an idea so I'm just worked out my little half scale pieces, I'm just cutting them out on my calico, I'm just trying to use up all my scraps. So I'm just going to quickly sew them up, there's my back with my yoke, my front with my yoke, I'm going to gather them in and just see how that looks. But I'm just, you know, before I make my final, final pattern and then I go obviously go to digitise it and grade it, I just want to be happy in my own self and this is what I do. I think I need to straighten up my side seams a bit more. Could do with a half scale mannequin. I'm still twirling. I'm still not happy with the finished look. Perfection is one of my downfalls. Sometimes I over complicate things or I seem to but I just want I just want things to be right and so I've been doing little miniature half scale twirls as you saw me there. Uh, ignore the neckline I haven't I haven't touched the neckline the neckline's wrong it's just I just wanted to see what it looked like. I like the gathering Angled is not not quite right at the side seams. I just need to maybe straighten it off just a fraction on a slight angle there. So I've obviously not drawn a straight line correctly. Seriously, my head is like pounding and excuse my hair because this is obviously day, another day in here. I've just been to yoga this morning, so I've got yoga hair. Um, so that's why my hair's a little bit all squashed and messy, but at least I did my yoga and back in here so I'm going to crack it today because this I've been doing this since Monday and it's now Friday and my head is pounding with it it's I love this part of the pattern drafting absolutely love it but it's so intense and I always get a massive headache draft one draft two draft three I think I must must, must be up to draft 72 or something by now but I use all these bits of scraps for when I'm adding my seam allowances. So it doesn't get wasted, but there's a, there's a heck of a lot of 
things thrown in there where I wasn't happy with it. I'm going to make one more half scale twirl. This is absolutely fine, don't get me wrong. It's just me being overly perfect. It's a perfectionist in me. I'm a Virgo and I think Virgos are known to be a bit of a perfectionist. Before my head explodes and this vlog, this behind the scenes vlog goes on for any longer, I have no idea how I'm going to edit all this because it's like days and days and days of filming and what have you. I'm going to do one more and then see if I get the angle right and then I'm going to then make the long sleeve version in this lovely dusky rose which I showed you previously. So that's the plan for today. So I'm not leaving this room until I've done it, until, well, until at least I've cracked this. So let's just see how we get on. So back to the cutting table and let's work one more. How dinky are these pattern pieces? Oh, I love working in half scale. It's like playing with dolls again. But yeah, so I'm just making my second half scale toile, just perfecting it really. And once I'm happy with that, then we'll go on to the Dusky Rose fabric. So this is my second sample there at the bottom, which is much better than the top, the top sample you can see straight away. It's just, it's just a better line, a better shape, better silhouette. So I'm really happy with that. It's worth, it's worth twirling um, just to get whatever you, you saw incorrect. So onto this fabric from Hell. It's like working with liquid and yeah, not enjoying working with this one as much as the printed one, but get everything cut out, stitched up, and we'll see what the long sleeve version looks like. So that's the yoke done and it, this is the fabric from Hell. I'm not enjoying working with it at all. It's just too slippery. It's like liquid fabric. It just doesn't want to do what I want it to do. It's got a mind of its own and I prefer fabrics that have got a little bit more structure to it. But anyway, I do like the colour and it's probably going to drip really nice. So yeah, so all I've got to do, well, when I say all I've got to do, I've still got to do the sleeves, put the bottom part on, add the ruffle and then, then it will be done. So still got quite a bit to do, but I've um, got some music on in the background. I've got obviously supervisor here. So I'm just going to keep going and see how far it gets me today. Finally finished. Really happy with it. Fabric, nightmare, but colours gorgeous, drapes really nice. So. You know, you take the highs with the lows, I suppose. Overall though, I'm quite satisfied now with the amount of twirls I've done and the amount of adjustments that I've done, but I think it's worth it in the end. And I am happy with the overall look. I love the sleeves. So obviously I've done the long sleeve on this version, a really simple but, um, bound cuff really simple I didn't want anything too fussy because obviously you've got a lot going on with a little ruffle you've got a lot going on with the yoke and the gathering there so I just thought simple finishing on the sleeve and this is the short sleeve version that you saw me make too so that's just a little bit of an insight into my week shall we say of working on a pattern working on adjustments working on twirls trying to figure it all out because as I've always said I am not trained I haven't been to fashion school a designer I you know I haven't done any of that but I'm self-taught which makes me just as good as if I've gone to fashion school it's just that I learn a lot of mistakes along the way but as long as I figure them out then I'm quite happy with that so I shall try them on show you what the both look like 
totally different looks, obviously, depending on the fabrics that you choose as well. Plain, obviously, with the plain fabric, and then obviously with the print fabric. And I am really tempted to make another one in two more fabrics that I'm eyeing up. And I just think, ooh, make another one. So I hope you enjoyed today's little behind the scenes video of me working on my next sewing pattern, the dolly top. All I've got to do now is digitize it. All I've got to do. What I've got to do now is digitize it and then grade it. And yeah, so watch the space for the dolly top, hopefully launching at the end of August. And yeah, so I shall see you on my next video. Let me know what you think and uh, thank you so much. And if you'd like to see more of this type of video and behind the scenes of me working on things, then you may want to consider joining me over on Patreon. But until the next time, thanks again, and I'll see you on my next sewing video.